Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdiversal video where I play Alice Manish Returns. This is further than I got in my last video. Proof that if you just hype yourself up on enough caffeine, sometimes things get done, especially in the sacred month of Halloween. All right, so let's get started. I don't know what happened with the last game, but it would not let me change out of my siren costume. It looks like it's back now. Not sure what that's about. So this time we're going to be playing through Hatter's Domain. I'm going to try to make it through the end of this. Uh, we will see though, because these levels are pretty fucking long. Like I said, the level design gets a little bit tedious sometimes. It's a lot of the same thing over and over and over again. Lizzie, remember when a burst of steam blew your dress up around your neck? Just outside Harrods it was. <laughs> Fortunate your undergarments had been laundered. Damn, she said, good thing you didn't have skid marks on them. I didn't play any of the old game, but I did watch a tutorial on it. I watched somebody play through it. So I do know a little bit about what goes on in the first game, but not a whole lot, because I'm gonna be honest, I kind of tuned it out. It's, again, it's kind of the same thing where it's like clunky old video game. I want to say it was made in the early 2000s, but I do know that in the last game, you fought the Hatter. And so what you see when you're going through his domain in that game is that he's torturing a mouse and a rabbit and they're all over the wall, guts everywhere. Also, I believe these dodos were thing in the last one too, except they were a lot more gruesome. They didn't just have screws in their eyes, which I realized that's already fucked up right there, but it was worse. So as you'll see, a lot of the stuff from this game kind of pulls from the old game as well. I fucking hate the music in this part of the game. It's horrifying. It's like so uneasy. Possibly a radula room. Oh. I will also be going for the Radula Rooms just because they make gameplay a little bit easier once you fill up all the roses with the blood. So they, they essentially uh, they add a new little piece to your flower and so you can get a new heart every single time, which I would like. I don't take a whole lot of damage in this game, but when I do, some of the villains kind of are weighty, so I would like that. There actually is a dress later in this game that you can put on. So essentially all the dresses have like, um, they all have properties to them once you finish the game because you can choose whichever game you want. So it kind of incentivizes you to choose based on your play style. And there is one game that will lower the flowers a certain amount where like you can't go above that. And I'm like, why? Would anybody want that? And I've seen that's kind of a common consensus with people who play that game and kind of know that it does that. Like, why would you wear that? I mean, maybe if you wanted to like play it on the hardest settings. Damn, Loki kind of speedrunning this game. Never used to be this fast for me. Also, I think I missed a snout over there. Ah, God damn it. Go. Oh. Oh, that fucking camera angle almost gave me fucking motion sickness. Jesus Christ. When a new level opens up and then the music goes away and you know you can finally have some peace. I'm a Loki getting motion sickness from this right now. Oh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> My boyfriend just got into a game of Overwatch, finally. Oh, nice. I got a mem memory too. That is open, Alice. Never closed. Never locked. It needs no key. I, I did that just because I was about to fall into the abyss too, and I just got lucky. I think I'm almost able to upgrade the pepper grinder now. Kind of giving myself motion sickness with how fast I'm playing. I remember when I first played this game, when I was like 12 or 13, I played it because my, uh, my Thea's husband had bought it for her. So I was just playing it. I remember it took me so fucking long to get through this level because I was just so scared to move forward and I had finally beaten it. I had to tell like the whole world about it. Look at me now, still telling the whole world about it. Bricks are rocks, as A brick house, like Gibraltar, is impervious to fire and weather and the indecencies of Barbary macaques, should the need arise. I sure wish I knew what Barbary macaques were. Sounds made up, though. I know you Couldn't get past it. You child. Use the bed cam. Rabbit. Nurse Witless, is that her name? Yeah, she's so fake. Okay, here's, I believe, where the nightmare villain is. I hate this part. Well, I hate, I hate this villain, actually, just in general. Alice was off my own. I clearly hadn't learned from Tao, I suspect. Her sister, though loving and much loved, was too old to be a playmate. Can you see that little timer right there? That's cause shit's about to go down. Thought I'd be more prepared for this. I'm kind of not. not. Like, I know his combos, but it's still kind of an irritating boss. Womp womp. Womp womp. Ah, uh, get fucked. Ah. Uh, get fucking womped on. Yeah, see, when I first played that, I remember I had so much trouble getting past it. It's partially just because I refused to use my fucking gun. See, when you can use a gun and just dodge shit. 
Wait for me. Wait for me to finish spinning things. Shit. I love how many roses come out of these guys, too. Full focus. God, it feels so good to be an adult and to have, like, motor skills. He's obsessed with time. Find him. Your own time may be short. I still don't have my bomb yet. Rush yourself off, girl. The hatter shall see you at your best after all. I am dripping with style right now. First of all, how dare you? I don't really think these bottles that I collect actually mean anything. They aid you toward the 100% completion of the game, but they kind of don't really do anything for you, as far as I know. Which, by the way, American McGee's Patreon for Alice had a lot of like good imagery and stuff and creepy stuff about it. And I have the art book for this game specifically. And I imagine every one of those drawings is going to go into another art book, which is really cool because it's all very good artwork. The people that they have working on this game's art, immaculate. Finally, give me the clockwork bomb. I blame EA for everything that's wrong with this game and the game developers for everything that's right. We'll all roast in our beds, Alice, for the sake of your father's unnatural devotion to printed paper. <laughs> this horde of flambles, not only a malignant spark and poof, our flesh and blood is smoke and ash. Jesus, she was predicting that shit. Lovely library was a fire trap. A conflagration waiting to happen. Good thing you figured that one out, Alice. I think it's an interesting way that this game kind of presents memories as well, and how every time you gain them, she's kind of figuring out her whole life. Like, we're figuring it out with her, which I think is really cool. I love hysteria. Pressing enter. I don't know what that is on my game. Yes! Where are you? Okay, but look at how cool that looks. Like, that looks so dope. Fun fact, a little secret, if you watched this far into the video, the last video of me playing Alice, I filmed three hours ago. The different shirt, a little bit of movie magic. Blasted good night. Hatter, I recall leaving you in a decrepit condition. But what? not in pieces. Oh, it's you. What's happened here? You've lost your hat, and some parts are missing. Missing indeed, though things being what they are. I barely missed their missing. As to what's happened, you should know that better than I. It's your place after all. I know my place. When did you ever know your place? Or how to keep it? <laughs> now what's going on? What's going on? And round and up and down into my ears and through my eyes, up my nostrils, down my gullet, and whining in my gut. Papa was exceedingly fond of trains. I don't like them much. You won't like this one at all. Nothing like when Mock Turtle was in charge of the looking light line. This railroad's a bloody shambles. The stink is ferocious, light, blinding, the noise, hellacious. Ah, oh, quite, Tata. I get the idea. A bad train. The world is upside down, Alice. Inmates run the asylum. No, thanks. And worst of all, I've left Tealess. Oh my god, Tragic. not Tealess. Will you help me in return? Cross my heart if I had one. Find my limbs and toss them into the chute. Machines will do the rest. The only way now, that's a good girl. <laughs> Best way out is through the crock face. Yes. Okay. I kind of like Mad Hatters with red hair. I think they're more fun and whimsy. This guy's just bald. There's no pizzazz about him, and I could use a little bit of pizzazz. Let's go over here first. Sure. All right, and we are out. Okay, here we go. This, I think, is the part where I need to fight that thing that requires the dodge. Yes! I kind of love this weapon. It's so much fun. All right, give me that shit. Yes, sir! Oh, shit! That was the wrong button! <laughs> oh, I think that's supposed to be dodge. Oops! Whoopsie! What button is it? What button is it? Oh, I forgot! Oh, there we go. That's the button. Come on. I know what button to use now. It's over for you. 
Uh, get fucked on. He's kind of kicking my ass. Oh, not anymore. Okay, spoke too soon. Been years now, Alice. Time to put away childish things. Let's see how quick we can run through it. The dimensions of this desolate tract are unknown to all but the inhabitants. Spooky. Suffering, obsolescence, and ruination. It's made the East End consider a simple power in Australia, perhaps. We might liquidate what remains of your inheritance. Hello? Was he giving me advice or was he trying to scum off me? I couldn't tell. Alright, speed run, speed run, speed run! Wait. Monkey brain says I need to go here. See, I have enough to upload my pepper grinder, I think, but I do want to wait until I can upgrade both the Vorpal Blade and the pepper grinder. Or is that stupid? Yeah, I think that's stupid. Okay, let me just... Cool. Okay. Ominous, ominous. The rabbits first. Every time I play this game, I just forget how long all the levels are. Okay, boss fight's coming up. I say boss fight, it's kind of really just an enemy fight. Yep. Oh, it's just this guy. Okay, we're good. So cool. We're just getting tranced by the fucking bomb. My little sibling actually taught me to do that because I didn't know. And then he was like, hey, you know you could put a bomb there? Good progress, guys. Good progress. Oh, I hate this fucking level. Just get, just get dead in the thing over there, okay? Shit. Oh, I'm gonna get fucking whopped on. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, good thing I can get out of the room. I thought it closed that. I swear to God, it used to close that. Holy shit. God, it really is so much easier with the bomb. I should have been doing that this whole time. Hold on, gotta get this motherfucker's memories. Some insects eat their young, and they have much to teach us. Alive or dead. What the fuck? He said, eat your fucking babies. Uh-oh. I think the game froze. Ah, shit. Good old buggy Alice. alt Control delete Oh no. Oh no, I literally can't get out. Okay, so my game just straight up stopped loading. So I'm gonna stop recording and I'm gonna turn my computer off and I'm gonna hope that things saved. So I had to restart my whole computer uh, cause it just like, it would not leave the screen at all. So let's hope that's saved, yeah? Thank fucking God. Okay, I was about to lose my fucking mind if it didn't. Okay, don't get stuck. Yes, okay, great, wonderful. We're at the next part. This is, this is going swimmingly. Also, I think I might have to break it up into three parts or two parts for the Hatter's Domain, but three parts all together between the beginning of the game because I've been recording for about half an hour already, 45 minutes. I wanna keep my editing short, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see how fast I can get through this level. This is so fucking horrible. See, I when I get obsessed with games, I play them over and over and over again because I don't really play like online stuff. I mostly just play like story games, like especially Mario Brothers. I used to play new Super Mario Brothers. I used to play over and over and over again all the time and then like just see if I could beat my time. So I wonder if hypothetically I could like try to speed run them and like have any sort of success. But like I've seen speed runs for this game before and they are any percent. Catherine's cage and the canary goes to sleep, Alice. Act like a snuffed candle. Sleeps the sleep of the just. Like Mama and Papa. After ten, they're unconscious. And so, like, I don't know how comfortable I feel intentionally glitching this game out when it's already so fucking glitchy already. Like, for example, it just, like, fucked my whole PC right now. That didn't happen. And there he is! Your token persistence will be rewarded with pain! I told you to cease and desist, but my warning goes unheeded, so without regret. You're about to feel like a lobster who's been tossed into the boiling pot! Oof! <laughs> oh shit! Okay, that's not too bad. I don't know a lot about voice acting, so this might be bad voice acting, but I think it's really good. Like, I quite like it. Oh! Yeah, no, I don't know. I like the voice acting in this. I think it's very animated and good. So, if there's any voice acting experts in my comment section, let me know if this is good voice acting. PETA gotta be so mad about this.
Oh shit, I hate this. Oh! Scared me. Oh, damn. Nice, okay. Whew. I hate these ones because they kind of fuck up my aim. All the fucking bolter flies and shit. Let me just take out the littles before I... No, no, we're already locked on. Ah, fuck. There we go, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> I'm going to cash in my bomb right now. Yeah, remember when I was just talking about speedrunning earlier? I think I played too terribly to actually do that. Don't you dare stop. Keep running or show sure help me out. <laughs> cool okay so that part's mostly finished now it's the hot level go legs go dexterity will make a nice change expect no thanks until i'm completely reconstructed no resting on laurels chiffoniers Chaise lounges, uh, mean folding chairs, uh, stools. Uh, uh. Bro, you could just put on your legs and help me out. Like, I don't have to do this alone. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave the next hot part for another video because right after that is going to be a little bit more gameplay within this level. So two-parter, I believe. We'll see. I might just record after this. This way I can just separate it into different videos. Um, and then the video will come out shortly after so we will see um all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more alice or more halloween content be sure to follow me i do this every year and i hope to be playing a lot more alice hope you will tune in for part three and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye